This is The Morning Five. I'm your host, Michael Ware, founder and CEO of the Center for Christianity and Public Life, giving you five minutes of news and scripture, Mondays through Thursdays. Today is Tuesday, October 10th, 2023. Let's open with scripture. Today I'll read from 1 Corinthians 2. And so it was with me, brothers and sisters, when I came to you, I did not come with eloquence or human wisdom as I proclaimed to you the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness with great fear and trembling. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power so that your faith might not rest on human wisdom, but on God's power. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, good morning. I'm your host, Michael Ware. Welcome to the Morning Five. Let's get to the news. First, in a statement Monday evening, President Biden uh, said that 11 U.S. citizens, at least 11, have been killed in Israel, uh, and there are an unknown number of citizens, U.S. citizens, still in Israel. Uh, the American government is working with uh, Israel to assess that aspect of the situation. Uh, the administration so far says there are no uh, serious. There's no serious consideration of a sort of American-led evacuation, uh, but that could, uh, of course, develop uh, in, in the coming days. Across America, additional law enforcement protection uh, has been given to uh, Jewish sites, synagogues, Jewish cultural centers, uh, due to a heightened risk of domestic threats. Um, of an anti-Semitic nature. Second item uh, today, uh, yesterday, Robert Kennedy Jr. announced that he will no longer be running in the Democratic primary, but will run as an independent. He made the announcement uh, at a campaign rally in California. He will, uh, that his, his, announcement is criticized and feared by both Democrats and Republicans who worry that he'll take more votes. Uh, he has the potential to take more votes from them than the other party. Uh, and so uh, um, it, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see if uh, either side comes to determine that Kennedy would be helpful to them or if both uh, sort of attack and seek to undermine uh, RFK Jr.'s candidacy. And finally, the September jobs report shows the U.S. economy added 336,000 jobs. Another strong report, of which, you know, and this has been a theme really for the last year, uh, maybe, maybe uh, more than that, but... Uh, a good jobs report both allays concerns about a recession, but heightens the likelihood that the Fed will raise interest rates again. And so uh, th that is that is very much the conversation that is taking place in reaction to, to these numbers. All right, that is the news for today. Let's close as we always do with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge and you have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. 
right, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. As always, The Morning Five is brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network and supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Hope you have a great day.